Chupacabra is a monster that was first sighted in 1995 by a Puerto Rican woman who described it as being an alien type monster that walked on two legs and has spikes protruding from its back. Reports describe it as a hairless dog with big fangs and spikes. This may sound insane, but there have been over 2,000 reported cases of this monster from places ranging from Puerto Rico to Mexico to the United States to Philippines and China. There might even be more sightings in the future. But what is this monster? Is it really a monster or can it be explained using science? First, let's start with some backstory. In 1995, a woman from Puerto Rico claimed that she saw a monster that walked on two legs, had spikes coming from its back. After, since then, there have been 2,000 cases of this monster roaming in multiple places, mostly in Central America. The creature has now been, is now one of the most well-known creatures of all time. There are multiple theories of what this is. The first theory is that it is simply a creature in the dark that has been mistaken. This evidence can be backed up since the description of the monster matches similarly to the monster from the movie Species. The first white witness even claimed that she saw the movie a week prior to seeing the chupacabra. Here is a picture for reference. Another theory is that this is an ABE, or an anomalous biological entity. George Martin, who is a Puerto Rican journalist and a UFO researcher, even goes as far as to claim that the United States government and the Puerto Rican government have captured two of them and are currently conducting experiments on them. Of course, these claims have also been denied. The final and most convincing theory is that it is simply a dog or coyote with mange. Mange is a disease caused by a parasite that makes animals such as dogs and coyotes look something like the chupacabra described by many people in Mexico and Texas. Dr. Barry O'Connor, who is an associate chair of the Department of Ecology and Evolutionary Biology and curator of the Museum of Zoology at the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor says, quote, it's the mice causing the injury to the coyotes and the dogs that make them look like monsters, and that kind of meets the description, or, you know, they look like what these original creatures were described from in Puerto Rico, unquote. This is currently the most convincing theory of what the chupacabra actually is. Although we may never know what the chupacabra actually is, these are just some theories. Of course, these are not the only theories, but these are just theories I've gathered into information on. There could be hundreds or even thousands of theories on this iconic creature. So, is it mange or is it actually an alien? You decide. And as always, I will see you next time.